In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to rotoscope in After Effects using the Rotobrush 2.0. Let's dive into it. We have our clip in a new composition here. This gentleman is putting his headphones on. So first we're going to go to the beginning frame, double click, and then it's going to bring up the layer panel. Then we're going to go up to our rotor brush tool, or you could hit option W and you'll see this green circle with crosshair in it. First and importantly, I'm going to hit the command button and do left or right to make your brush size smaller or larger. This is super helpful when you're drawing what's uh, needed to be rotoscoped or removed. So I'm going to draw something like that. And then I'm going to outline this gentleman's body. And the reason why we do it on the first frame is because basically the software generates and you're telling it, hey, this is what you need to focus on or not focus on. To remove parts, I'm holding down the option key and you'll see it's red. It will generate as the frames go by. As you can see, the, his button here is removed because it's a similar tone to the background. So since I want that in the frame, I'm just gonna select that and then it's gonna be included. His outline looks pretty good. When it comes to the hairs, you know, the, his profile, it's a little more complex. Like I said, this could be as in-depth as you want it to be. Um, rotoscoping is not easy. It definitely is time consuming, but the Rotobrush 2.0 makes it super, super user friendly. Um, okay, so now that we have our outline here, we're gonna focus more on the fine tuning. So I'm going to select the refined edge tool, or if I hit option W, as you could see, it switches between the two. So these two tools go hand in hand. This, his facial hair here, it just tells the software what's a hard edge and what's a soft edge. And then it tries to feather the edge up as best it can. What I'm doing is I'm just outlining the hairs and the light edges that we need to focus on. And then let's do this too, we might as well. Just the refine edges. I mean, the name speaks for itself. So what you could also do is if you toggle between these switches, you could see different views. Um, basically this is the, this is the matted view. This is the outline. And this is the basically showing you that area that's going to be removed. So that actually looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to hit the space bar. And as you can see down here, it's going to start rendering out the frames. So I'm going to let this run and then we'll fast forward. So I'm going to stop it right there. And as I could see when he brings the headphones into the frame, you could see that is not outlined. So I'm gonna start right when it starts to come into the frame because it's important to do it right in the beginning so the software can track it right there. So I'm gonna to toggle back to my, see whenever the crosshair, the circle is blue, that usually means it's the refined edge. So I'm gonna go option W and it's gonna bring back the, the green rotor brush tool. I'm just gonna paint that right there and then as you could see it's starting to track the headphones as they get brought into the scene so we'll let this run a little longer now i'm going to stop it right there again see what i'm looking out for now is the gap right here as you're looking through the headphones you could see this is getting a little bit of the background in there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this smaller and then I'm going to hold the option key and this is going to remove this part. Now this part's going to be a little harder and more in depth, but I'm just showing you the basics here. So now you see it selected some of the headphones and so now I'm going to go back and I'm going to use the green like it selected for me and I'm going to select this. As you can see, this edge is a little bit soft. So what I like to do for soft edges is actually use the refine edge tool. Um, 
So if you think of it like anything that's really out of focus or soft that you want to bring back in, use the refine edge tool because it's only going to make it look better. All right. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to hit the space bar again and it's going to render out some more. And then see right there, as he brings his hand up, you're starting to see more. I'm going to hit option and I'm going to try to remove this area here and then I can go to the refine edge tool. So if you want to remove a refined edge, you hit the option key as well. So I'm just going to have to use, since this edge is so soft, it's not picking it up as well as I'd hoped. So I'm just going to go back to the refine edge tool and I'm just going to make that all a blurred out edge. You can see that it's feathered. Space bar. See right there? It corrected itself the next frame, but see right there, we need to remove this. Okay, so I got that. Next frame looks good. That looks good. The feather looks pretty good. You can adjust the smoothness, the feather, the contrast, and the edge in the effect controls here. And then once you're satisfied, basically, once you're satisfied with your result, you could press the freeze button. And what freeze does is, is, is it locks in the mat so that the rotor brush doesn't have to repropagate the edges. So I'm gonna go ahead and render this out. Then, you, then the fun part begins. You can do all sorts of styling and the rotor brush 2.0 just does an amazing job. You can be pretty successful with this. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and follow us. And if you want even more from us, check out our online shop for digital designs, stickers, mock-ups, and more.